game number two. And Sosa on the other side of it was just not able to keep up with his E-Giant bowler on Arden's Goblin Giant. And then in game number two, he was trying to control things a little bit, and that did not happen. Let's see if he can make it happen this game. He's going with minor. Sosa's going with the minions here. After seeing minions, I gotta say, it's probably gonna be a minor poison versus goblin giant Sparky. Here. There we go, and Sosa, again, I think this is the right way to go. You go and you lean into what's strong, you lean into comfort. Mm, and I just love the mortar pick here. Mortar is so good versus Sparky. You might be wondering why you're about to see it right here. It's able to splash onto the Sparky. And even if you get something in front of this track, a long time, the Mortar will splash on Goblin Giant and Sparky and take it out. Adriel takes a nice chip there on both sides. Log on the left, Poison on the right. Mortar doing its job, Mortar doing its job. I'm just gonna keep saying that over and over and over. I gotta say, I did not <laughs> expect to see so much Mortar here today, and I am so happy about it. Evo Mortar nonetheless. Though. I know. Little Prince plus Goblins will probably suffice on the defense. Defense here, Little Prince ability doing a great job of yeah. the Giants, Goblin Giants, you name it. And you know what? I don't know if I like that rage there from uh, Sosa. It feels like that was going to be an easy cleanup for Adriel. Maybe it's just to get more Elixir out of him. No harm, no foul, though. Two untouched towers to do very healthy towers as Adriel sets up another Mortar. Um, excuse me. Mortar is going to get cleaned up by the Little Prince. Log going to try and knock that back. Does Sosa decide to use the ability or not? It's seeming like he's going to let this Mortar lock on tower. An interesting decision, but he'll be up a few Elixir because of that. And Mortar does get that lock, like you're saying, and the Elixir favor means a Sparky is coming down. And Adriel goes immediately to the op opposite lane. Those minions should do a very good job cleaning this all up. Minions are one of the best cards in the game when it comes to a cheap defense, which is why we see it used in big beatdown decks like this all the time. That's a really, really great nugget of information to take home with you. Eva Mortar doing a great job of cleaning up this Sparky, but you can't help but be a little bit sad to see that Eva Mortar being used on defense. Yeah, a lot of the time, you want to get it out on offense, and Sosa doing a good job of applying pressure to force that out. Yeah, really nice fireball there, and just like you're saying, Adriel has to get another couple mortars down before he can find any success. Also with the minions, you know, they're such a great counter to the Little Prince, something you were talking about earlier this week as well. Mini P.E.K.K.A. counter pushing. And this is what Minor Poison is all about. You just defend, defend, defend. You chip away with your Minor Poisons. He has the minions himself as well, which allow for some counter push value. And Sosa needs a big dual lane pressure push if he's going to come back and win this. And right now, though, Adriel is just completely controlling this. He's got his next mortar out here. And with that Evo Knight, though, this could be getting a little bit dangerous. Little Prince up high enough to take care of that mortar. Sparky Shot comes in, maybe wow. take care of that. This Goblin Giant, though, very healthy on the left-hand side. Minions locked on tower on the right as well. This can be some good damage for Sosa on both lanes, but still not enough to take the damage lead. Yeah, really good job of min-maxing there for Adriel. I mean, maybe a little bit more damage than he wanted on that right-hand side but still 20.85 to just above, eh, we'll just call it 16 and a half. Mortar once again played up one extra tile to try and lock that mortar a little bit earlier. But as we saw before, you got to watch out for that little prince over the river. This time, Sosa using the Santa minions. Yeah, great, great point you're making there. High mortars are all fun to take care of Sparkies, but that little prince you need to make sure is out of cycle. So now Sosa going in with the big send here on that right-hand side. Happy to send those minions up high and now gets another Evo mortar down. Sosa relatively medium, I'd say, on Elixir, but doesn't seem to have a great battle plan at the moment. Minions once again counting the little prince. Miner cleans up everything. Wait, even more. That is huge. And Miner gets the tank for the gob. Wow. Another oh, shot. Gob hits. That is massive. Now Fireball has to come out on top of oh, the mortar. And shot. it gets another shot. Everything going Adriel's way. Miner to the front. Minions to the front. Wow. And the poison going to drop down as well. Yeah. Poison does 216 tournament standard. I think that's enough to win this game. GG's. Well played to Adri Adriel. And a beautiful, beautiful game number one. Completely in control. Excellent defense. Using the mortar. I mean, that's all I really have to say. <laughs> Hopping straight into it. Hog right at the bridge right away from Adriel. And I like that. I've said that all day today. Push the pace. Sosa going to get a nice NATO in. It almost felt like he missed it there. It yeah. really did. It, and I'm glad that he did not, you know, when, you, when you've got that much pressure on you, you could imagine why it would happen, but gets that King Tower activation early on.
And that's just the other level of being a pro Clash Royale player. He knows the perfect timing to leak as little elixir possible and still get the activation just barely. And Adriel maybe goes, well, Mo looked like he had a lot of fun with Evo Firecracker Hog. Maybe I can replicate that. But interesting to see the Ghost here. The Ghost and the Prince. This is going to be a Mega Knight Hog Rider deck, Andrew. Very interesting. And we're going to see how that stacks up here as we move forward. I mean, at least you've got the Skeletons there to surround the Evo Skeletons for the, the Royal Ghost. And of course, Skeletons to help with the Prince. But MK will be very interesting as we move forward. So Mega Knight Prince Hog versus Sosa, most likely using Electro Giant here. Uh, trying to think of how this matchup really shapes up, it's really going to have to do with how the single elixir goes. And you know what? Honestly, I'm wondering if Adriel's kind of ready for this because I was even thinking in my mind that Sosa was going to play E Giant in this second game. And I also don't know if I love how much he's leaking at the moment because Adriel has a deck that can kind of be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, maybe he should have just cycled the skeletons a little bit quicker. Maybe he's just waiting for a response to deal yeah. with, with from Adriel's side. Well, obviously Sosa's deck being as heavy as it is is going to be a lot more effective when we get into double and triple elixir. We'll see how he wants to respond to this hawk. And Barb comes out and looks like one bat maybe got a bite in there early on. But that ghost splashing on the left-hand side gets some solid damage over there as well. And like we talked about, the single elixir really going to dictate how much damage Adriel can get. And he's done quite well for himself here. Absolutely. And we'll see if he can continue to add to that over the next 47. Prince charging in, hitting that Goblin Brawler. Evil Fanker could get a lot of value. Sosa's options are either lightning it or let it get value, and it's tough. And I was going to say, with that Goblin Cage out of cycle, you imagine that Adrian would want to go strong on offense, down to 1469 is that right-hand tower, and then this Evo to Firecracker, maybe, no, not going to get any support there, but a couple hits in, 1173, as an E-Giant comes down at the bridge. E-Giant at the bridge, he does get a very nice lightning, stopping yeah. that Prince charge. He has to worry about the ghost on the left inside, but he's got the skelly surround. This is solid damage for Sosa. Yeah, this is great for Sosa. Maybe seeing the first bit of light in his World Finals run, 1173 to 1478, feeling a lot closer now. Barbarian Barrel takes care of the Firecracker, preventing any damage in the cage. Perfectly placed to stop any hog hits. Sometimes it only takes one play or two to feel like you're back in rhythm. And finally, for Sosa fans and Sosa himself, it feels like he might be there. Adriel gonna have to feel a little bit nervous and maybe play a little bit better defense than we saw on that last E-Giant set. Evil Firecracker at the wow. bridge. It's locked on damage. It's so much E-Giant getting taken care of by that Prince quite nicely as well. And no NATO there for the Hawk. Bowler's already down. Double Bowlers are in, but Bowler is no longer behind an E-Giant. It is going to, you know, I guess technically tank for this Phoenix Egg, but I'm sure Adrian will get on top of that very easily, and it's an MK right on top of that Egg. Bowler getting some nice shots on both sides, but the right side is what matters. He Prince does. down, and he doesn't have any way to stop and this. that lightning, and Sosa's going to take it. Wow. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. And we're going to a game three. An elimination game number three. Give yourself so many more opportunities to get that same exact thing. Yeah, that's a really great point that you make there, and thank you to League Ops for coming in and addressing whatever issue that was as we get back to the action. And it's an LJ out early for Adriel. Archers, Evo version from Sosa to defend this Lumberjack. I love the split here. Lumberjack Rage, it kind of damage that a little bit, but recruits from Adriel. Is this going to be the recruits of Rich Family deck that we saw earlier? I mean, you've played a lot of recruits in your day. I mean, I think we pretty much all have once they got to that Evo form. And I'm a little surprised that we actually saw the Archers, uh, or that Sosa was holding the Archers until game number three, but obviously it's worked out well, and I'm sure he's very happy to have the strongest Evo in the game at his hands. I have to talk about how a similar matchup happened earlier between um, Pedro and... Um, Ruben. Ruben, thank yep. you so much. And the Skelly Dragons were the big thing in that situation. I'm so glad you brought that up because we talked about it so many times. But the big thing here is Sosa has brought the delivery. And that's going to help him so much and give him a lot more opportunity to defend those Skeleton Dragons. Yeah, it is shocking how insignificant Skeleton Dragons can be when you can deal with them easily. And then the moment that you cannot, they become some of the most yeah. frustrating cards in the game. And you talk about stacking them behind some Evo recruits. We're going to see how Sosa is going to deal with all of this 
But delivery, log, evo to archers, he's got a lot of great options. Interesting delivery yeah. in the back there. Maybe his cycle's just awkward, but at least he has the evo archers here, but the fireball's gonna take that out. So he immediately goes pigs. Those pigs are gonna pull the recruits back. And that's Ooh. actually kind of a brilliant play. Yeah, but is it enough? Is it enough? Skeleton Dragon on tower now. Oh, recruit. And now it's taken for the recruit on wow. that left hand side. Skeleton Dragon getting taken for on the right. No. Now Balloon comes in. Sosa only has five elixir in the tank. He has to spend a zero. But he has an Inferno Tower at least, so he will stay alive. Yeah. It's crazy how this match is shaping up. Yeah, very odd and awkward start there, but ends up being fairly even with Sosa down by just a uh, several hundred HP. Here comes the pigs, recruits, and Skelly Drag's gonna deal with that quite nicely. I love the decision to save the fireball for the offense in this situation. And Piggy stacking up some damage there, narrowing the gap to just over 100. Lumberjack at the bridge. It's not Raymar, it's Balloon. Sosa has an Inferno Tower, but those recruits are going to do a great job of distracting it. He gets the archers here. Snowball to slow. Is this Balloon going to take... Fireball! Wow, and this is looking scary. Yeah, Snowball Fireball comes in. That Balloon should get a drop. <gasps> it does! And no. the last second delivery, that is double damage in terms of losing the Elixir, taking the drop from the Balloon, and the death damage, and now Adriel is just one spell cycle away from staying alive in World Finals. There's the snowball, and here's the fireball, ladies and gentlemen. Adriel gonna take it. GG's. And Sosa able to at least pick up a game on his World Finals run. Congrats to him, but a much bigger congrats to Adriel, who takes his first match win at World Finals, and he had to work for it as well.